Uh, so, Bacon is Lift Fam, thank you so much for helping me with this, dude. And uh, all of these guys who are watching this video right now, please show Bacon some love in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the video. Okay. <laughs> Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the hardest egg on the Roblox egg hunt. Is that what it's even called? Probably, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get it today and this is probably the best guide you're going to see on YouTube so far because not many people know how to even do videos. So yeah. Uh, so anyway guys, remember to like the video, go and subscribe for more awesome Roblox content. Uh, so of course, here we are right now guys on the starting world where you first spawn in and if you just kind of jump off this little edge part you will be in a bar called the light bass once we're inside here you'll see a couple of guys on a table we just want to come around to this fish right here go into the first person view and uh, i'm having trouble here but uh, see these like little numbers thing we need to spell out or we need to kind of change it so that we have the first number as three then five and then four and once you've done that, if you turn around, you will actually see there is a crate and it kind of opens up so that you can go inside and uh, check what's in here. Now, right now, there is a secret door, but we cannot yet access it. So what we need to do is open up the journal and kind of read through it. Once you've done that, reset your character and then you should spawn right up at the top of the spawning area just where we started. Uh, once we've done that, guys, we then need to go towards this teleporter gate right here. And we need to go to the area, let me just find it so I know, uh, this one right here that you're on seeing on screen. I, I forget what it's called, but it'll probably be on screen too. Uh, so yeah, let's go there right now guys, and uh, yeah. Okay, now that we're in the next area, what we need to do is exit out of this main kind of building. If Bacon will move his little fat bum. Uh, and what we're going to do is continue going this way that I do. So there's going to be a lot of this in this guide. You kind of need to follow exactly where I go. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, but I've sped up the video a little bit, but not too much so that you guys can understand where I'm going. But uh, just follow on. And right here, there will be a ditch that you can jump down into. And once you do, right here on the wall, somewhere around the wall, will be a little uh, kind of secret message that says, press E to open. And if you do that, you go inside, there's this kind of skeleton guy sitting here, and he'll kind of run you through like a little bit of a backstory about the whole egg. Uh, what we just do is just kind of skip through, go back to the uh, menu, and then click reset character again. Once we've reset our character, now we can go here to the teleporter and set our place to the mystical plane, or the abyssal plane, abyssal plane, I think. But uh, anyway, let's uh, go there now. Okay, so now we're at the Abyssal Plane, what we need to do is follow exactly where I'm going to go. This is going to be a very hard part of the tutorial, guys. I have, go I am going to speed it up, but I'm going to speed up so that you guys can actually see where I'm going. I'm not going to speed it up too fast, that's basically what I'm saying. Uh, so right here, we're just going to keep on continuing down this little path right here. I'm following Bacon, so Bacon, thank you so much, dude, for kind of uh, showing me exactly where to go and everything. Without you, this guide would not be possible uh, to show all of these awesome people how to get this awesome egg. One of the rarest eggs, in fact, uh, so far. I think uh, just right now, as I'm doing this guide, there is only a thousand people that have actually got this uh, egg as a hat thing, as an avatar item, I guess. Uh, so yeah, guys, we're now at the stairs. Don't go up the stairs. We want to continue on to the left-hand side, and then you'll see there's a huge, like, ditch, and we just kind of want to jump down. We're going to jump down here, and we're going to continue going in this area right here. And even though it is dark, you guys should still kind of be able to follow exactly where I'm going. So uh, yeah, just kind of keep on going. Uh, and, and jumping where I jump, walk where I walk, and then you'll be okay. And I also want to know, guys, just while I'm here, if any of you guys do actually find this guide useful, and uh, you actually get the egg at the end of all of it, then please tell me. I would love to know if you guys actually got it. Uh, that'd be super fun if you guys told me how many of you guys got it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so now we're down here, and you will see this guy. He's actually a mermaid, uh, or like a handsome mermaid or whatever. We just kind of want to talk to him, and he'll say, could you please retrieve my mirror for me so that I can see how handsome I am and all of that kind of poop because he's not even that handsome. Uh, after he's done talking, we just want to go and reset our character again and then we'll be at the spawn point of this area and then we need to go and change exactly where we need to go to. So let me just find out uh, really quick. So here we are and we need to go to there, the desert. So uh, yeah, let's go to the desert right now, guys. 
Now, once we're at the desert, this is pretty easy. We just want to kind of go through this little temple exactly where Bacon's going. And it is probably the easiest part of the whole, like, kind of guide, I guess. Uh, we just kind of go up here, and then we drop down into this little hole. Or you could have just went round. It's either way, it's whatever. But this is the way that Bacon told me to go. And uh, right here next to the cactus, you will see the mermaid's mirror. And uh, we just want to pick it up, and it says that we will return it to the abyssal plains. So that's exactly where we must go to now, guys. We need to go back to the teleporter and go to abyssal plains, the underwater area uh, that we saw uh, just before. So let's uh, let's go there now. Okay, so now we're at the abyssal plane guys i've just exited the temple uh, where the o2 kind of oxygen meter kind of starts we're gonna jump back down and go the exact same way that we went last time uh, i know that i go a little bit of a quicker way this time so yeah i'm not too sure if you guys want to follow me here or if you know which way to go i don't know uh just kind of follow the guide anyway that's what i'm trying to say and um what I will say is once we do this part of the guide, I would say that we're pretty much halfway through getting the rarest egg on the Easter egg hunt so far. So yeah, let's just kind of keep on going past all of the kelp. If that's even, what is that, is that called seaweed or kelp? Is that the same thing? I don't, I don't really know. But uh, here is the kind of stairway thing. We're going to continue going this way. And... Um, we just want to jump down into the big ditch again, guys, past the whole mines. I actually only just realized that they were mines. I thought they were just linked up to a boat or something. But no, they're actually landmines in the water. Or not... Well, they're, they're not really called landmines if they're in water. They're called water mines, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, but as you can see, there he is right in front of us, guys. There's the handsome mermaid or merman. And uh, we're going to talk to him. And he will say thank you very much, and he will basically tell us that we need to go to Antarctica. So, uh, we're just going to go and reset our character once more time, uh, guys. Reset right there. And uh, once we're at the teleporter spot, we need to click on the snowy area, which is Antarctica. Uh, so, I'm just going to do that right now, and then we can continue on through the guide. So, uh, yeah, let's... Let's go. Okay, so we are now in Antarctica, guys, and what we need to do is follow exactly where I go from this area right here. So continue going this way, past the little cabin, and up to the ramp. And uh, like I said, guys, I am going to speed up the video once again because I don't want you guys wasting like all of your time watching this. But uh, just take, yeah, take your time with this. It it will take some time to get used to, but hopefully you guys find this guide pretty easy to do, and uh, hopefully I can help you guys get the egg. Uh, so once you've followed exactly where I go here, we will see a little cave. We just want to turn left into this cave and continue going this way right here. And uh, once we go to the right hand side, if we stick to the right hand side, we'll go up this kind of like tube kind of area, this little crevice. And on top of here, you will see a couple of penguins. We want to turn left and go down this little slope, but not on the ice because I think you slip down it. Uh, and once we're down on this slope, go to the right hand side right now. And then we will find a man somewhere down here. We just kind of drop down. There he is. There is a man talking to you himself kind of by the fire. What we must do is interact with him and he will ask you a series of little puzzles. And uh, they're all the same for everybody. So right now I'm going to tell you the first, the second and the third puzzle answers. So the first answer is mirror. You must type that in. Then the second answer is tree. And then the third answer is volcano. So like I said, guys, uh, mirror, tree, volcano. Once you've answered that, he will say Con congratulations. Now you have to go to the next part of the quest. We're just going to reset our character uh, really quickly, like so. And then we'll be back in the crashed aeroplane or the crashed boat. I can't really remember. And uh, now we must go back to Mount Ignis. So that's where we're going to go right now, guys. Okay, so now we're in Mount Ignis, and uh, yeah, once again, guys, you kind of just need to follow exactly where I go, and uh, come out of this little temple, it's like spawn area type thing, we turn to the right, and there will be a hill going on top of here, and uh, there will be like a couple of cargo crates, what we're gonna do is kind of like stick to the left hand side of them, go around this lava right here, and uh, then we're gonna jump down to the next area, uh, just down here. Now, once you're here, if you just look to the right hand side, you will see that there is a burning tree and this kind of like hole kind of thing, like this kind of little mountain like with the lava inside it. From here, we're going to turn to our right hand side and as long as you see this kind of area with all of these different pipes down there, like as you can see, I'm heading towards this kind of big lava pit with loads of pipes and kind of like a 
industrial kind of looking place with lots of cargo crates. We need to go towards that area. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to continue going on down. And uh, just watch you don't fall in the lava either, because obviously it's gonna it's, it's gonna kill you, because it's lava. You know, guys, that's pretty much what lava does. Uh, don't go near lava. Uh, so now we're at the crates. We're just gonna go up this little ramp right here. We're gonna continue going down. And I would say that if you have any friends with you, tell them to watch out of the way, because they can actually hit you into the lava. And that's something that you don't want. Uh, so as you can see, we've just jumped onto the side of the wall, and we need to kind of keep on going this way. Kind of jump on the wall, keep on going. And once we're on top of here... We must jump on the wall, go down again. Uh, so yeah, sorry if this part is really confusing. All I can say is just kind of rewatch the video very carefully. Uh, but once we've got to the end here, there will be another secret like kind of room. We just press E and you'll see a couple of people in here. And we need to go and talk to this guy right next to this kind of lava pit. And uh, basically what he'll say is that he needs a crystal to kind of do something. I don't really know what he wants with the crystal, but he says, go and get me a crystal. You can find it at blah, 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 blah. That's where you need to go. So what we're going to do now is reset our character, guys. Once you're back at the kind of uh, teleported place, what we need to go to now is the stroposphere, the, the original spawn place. That's where it was. I kind of got confused there. So if you're kind of wondering why I edited that part, yeah, it's because I kind of got confused what it was called. Uh, so yeah, we need to go back to the stroposphere, guys. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Now that we're here, as you can see, I'm out Side of the teleporting place uh, right here and uh, there's one of my subscribers hey what are you what's going on dude we need to go towards this big tree and go down to the bar again so just kind of jump down off the cliff and uh, go into this little cave area and here it is the light bass and uh, before we go down into the secret little passage place that we went to we need to talk to the barkeep uh, and here he will say blah 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 and he'll actually give us a key to the door uh, inside that little kind of hidden place, the hidden crate place, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, but just in case the crate is lodged back, uh, the numbers once again, guys, is 453, I believe. Is it 453? Uh, no, it isn't. It's 5, it's 354. That's what it is. It's 354. It'll open back up, and then we need to go inside here and click open. And once we have, uh, you will see that there's a crystal on the floor and a very cool hoverboard from Back to the Future. That's a pretty nice little easter egg that they threw in there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming that is pr pr probably Marty McFly. So yeah, unfortunately. Uh, now we're going to reset our character once again, guys. And we need to now go back to the lava place, uh, which is Mount Ignis. So that's what we're going to do right now. Go back to Mount Ignis. So now I'm back at Mount Ignis. And what we need to do is go to that crystal guy again. Obviously, we've just got the crystal from that place. And we need to follow on my like kind of footsteps again and get to him. And I, I am pleased to tell you guys that this is pretty much the last part of this guide. Uh, there's going to be like one or two little more things to do. But we've pretty much done it right now all you have to do is make sure that you do not die in this lava i mean if you do you don't have to restart or anything it's just don't die because then you have to go back to the small place and kind of follow it again uh, so here we're gonna go down again once again towards the kind of industrial place uh, and like i said guys i have kind of sped it up just a little tiny bit uh, just in case you guys get a little bit confused because like i said when i tried to actually like make uh, follow somebody's guide on this like he sped the video up all the way so it was unwatchable. And I was just like, how are people meant to follow this if they can't at least, like, see exactly where you're going? Uh, so yeah, guys, I do hope that you, you have found this easy. And if you have, please remember to comment down below, as, you know, it kind of makes me feel better about my content. And uh, yeah, so... Continue on going past these little uh, builders and everything like that, these uh, construction workers. We're going to jump on the side of the mountain once again, guys. Kind of skip across, just kind of keep on jumping. Don't fall down. And right here at the pipe, we need to kind of like jump on different things to get on top of it. And then follow on to the secret door right down here. So there it is. Press E to open right now. And there you go. And uh, once we talk to this guy, he will say, thank you very much for the crystal. What you must do now is jump into the pit of fire. Now, do not jump into that pit. Because, yeah, you, you will die. And that's not the right place to go. Uh, we don't jump into that pit, guys. We need to go to another place. So really quickly, what we're going to do is go and reset our character once again. Oops, there you go. Okay, reset. And uh, we will be at the spawn area. And what we're going to do now, guys, is come out of the spawn area, go up the kind of hilltop again. And we need to go to the Temple of Fire, I believe they call it. And uh, if you can just see in the background there, it's kind of that like big grey kind of uh, building. 
If you just follow where I go, you can kind of get inside it through the smashed glass over here. And uh, yeah, you just have to jump into this pit of fire with the black thingy bob doing all this <laughs> i don't know uh, but now we're inside here you will see that your hair disappears and uh, you'll kind of go into a loading stage and you'll be back here but don't worry about it guys it takes a minute or two to actually register that you guys have actually like done the quest and uh, as you can see guys it's taken us to the stratosphere uh kind of area i guess I don't know. I don't know where it is, but uh, yeah, we're going there right now. Now, once we're inside, uh, you'll see it looks very creepy and weird. And if we turn right at the spawn, you will see a building, like a mansion saying EBR. And this is where we get the egg, guys. This is where the egg is. So we go up the stairs here, go through this door, and jump down. And right here, around these ghosts, you will see the EBR egg. And there you have it, guys. You have just got the rarest egg in Pokemon Brick Bronze Egg Hunt. So uh, yeah, congratulations to you guys. And I hope that you did find this uh, tutorial useful and easy to follow. If you did, remember to leave a like, go and check out my channel for more egg guides, Roblox videos, all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. Anyway, and uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.